With commencement just around the corner, many Yale students are worried about learning how to properly deal with their finances after Yale. Liberal arts schools often come under fire for not offering a practical education in dealing with personal finances. But is this claim really true? Reporters Stephanie Yuli and Kristen Mendez tell us more. At present, Yale College only offers one course on financial accounting. This semester, it was canceled, leaving Yaley scrambling for other ways to gain financial literacy. Even though the number of finance classes are lacking, what many don't know is that Yale offers multiple financial literacy forums outside the lecture hall. But many remain undersubscribed and even undiscovered. This past week, not one, but two forums were held on financial literacy. Um, I hear a lot of complaints about the liberal, liberal arts education. Um, how people feel, that they're not getting practical skills, anything marketable, difficult to find jobs, function after graduation, stuff like that. Um, so we sort of came up with this and this curriculum in response to, to students. And though this was done in response to students' needs, there were only 30 students present. The talk covered skills ranging from managing a checking account to navigating the student loan process. Over half the attendees were seniors. I think one of the biggest problems is that people need to be more aware of it. So far as general undergraduates go, I just, I'm just, I think we have trouble realizing that these things do pertain to us. Similar opportunities are offered surprisingly often. Just three days later, Steve Bloom, class of 74, the director for strategic initiatives at the Association for Yale Alumni, held a master's tea that gave students a crash course on important finance skills for new college grads. If you simply take your money and, figuratively speaking, put it under a pillow, you will succeed in saving money, but you probably will fail in reaching your life goal, which would be enough money to meet your uh, needs during your lifetime, during retirement, medical needs, and so forth. So, as Yogi Berra should have said, but never did, the biggest risk is taking none. The reaction was positive, and the students we spoke to seemed to feel more assured about entering the real world after the talk. There were a lot of words that I had heard before and didn't quite understand what the difference between an IRA and a Roth IRA is, um, and now I feel like I have a really good handle on these sorts of things. Well, it was a really good way to get some rules of thumb about how to budget your spending and more long-term stuff like retirement. It's things like this that without someone who has had a lot of experience in the field, it could be hard to get into, and you might stumble um, unnecessarily without his advice. The fact that we've dropped uh, our unemployment rate from, say, 10% to roughly 6 or 7% really doesn't change the essentials. It still boils down to figuring out what should a budget look like, how much of it is discretionary, how much of it is non-discretionary, how can I flex that to defend the place that savings take place in it, and then how do I create a plan that goes out years or even decades, although that seems like a long time. Um, any student, any Yale undergraduate, um whether or not you're on financial aid or not, can walk into the Student Financial Services Office and, and, and get advice. Um, if they can't advise you themselves, they will direct you to the appropriate resources. No matter where you're headed after Yale, financial literacy is an important skill to have for existing outside of these ivy-covered walls. Yale offers outlets for learning such skills, and if students seek them out, they can make their transition to independent living a much smoother ride. This has been Kristen Mendez and Safina Yuli reporting for YTV. Even more opportunities for improving financial literacy may be in the works for Yaley's. The YCC is currently considering expanding this series of forums to full-fledged workshops with complete curriculums and more structured teaching.